Libra! Welcome to your November 2017 General Tarot Reading. It is Raina, and I'm shuffling the cards. Good to have my old trusty Morgan Greer deck back in my hands. If you saw my love reading that I did for no November, you would see that I, I tried out a new deck, and just didn't have the same feel to me that this one does because I've just invested so much energy um, with so many readings with this deck so it, but it's good to experiment I will say that this is a general theme as well as um, general for all of the people born under the sign of Libra. If you'd like a personal reading, there's a link below. My website is rainamoonastrology.com. Okay. All right. So let's look at these cards. The Chariot card is a very positive card because it speaks of success, of um, some kind of a victory. This may be something professional that you were striving towards and you achieved it, and it may have been kind of a challenge and you still made it, you still did it, and you feel really good about yourself. Or it could be something within yourself. It could have been struggle that you overcame. It could even be in the relationship area or arena. This card connects to Cancer. So if there's somebody who's a Cancer, that person may be featured in November and Yes, definitely with Libra, Cancer people, fellow cardinal signs, can uh, you can be attracted of all the water signs, probably most to Cancer. And so that might be uh, foremost on your mind. In the past position, we have the Seven of Wands. So it's like fending off attack, <laughs> figuratively. It's being in a defensive posture. So... An example uh, of this is you're at work and you're feeling like you always have to prove yourself. And it gets a little bit old because you want to be accepted for your talents. And it's almost like every day is you auditioning to get a job instead of you have the job and you don't have to prove yourself anymore and you're like when when will I stop having to prove myself and maybe something was a turning point for you and now you're kind of really in that zone we have here with the Hierophant a card associated with organizations um, I could see like a corporate environment and Maybe the, this is a new environment. Maybe you're in a corporate environment and in the past it was more of a, maybe you were even working for yourself, but you felt like it was you against the world. And uh, now you're, what's that, that saying? If you can't beat them, join them. So you may be involved in it. And, and actually Librans are great in that kind of corporate environment because your team players uh, whereas some people might cringe when they hear the word, um, are you a team player? You are like raising your hand, hi, yes, I am. And you like to socialize. You like th that kind of stimulation. So it's not something that is hard to swallow. Um, it's like you, you conform, you fit into to what they want. You conform to their expectations. And the um, higher message is the Four of 
Pentacles, which is saying that this particular situation is not only going to bring you a sense of well-being in general, a sense of accomplishment, but also financial security. And I would just say in general stability. The number four represents foundations. And um, if there's any kind of particular romantic relationship that if, if the um, career thing doesn't work for you, it can have something to do with possibly a Cancer individual and a Taurus individual. And the Taurus person is more your type um, for, for the connection on a higher level. What crosses you is the two of, of um, cups. So there may be some situation, either you are having a hard time forgiving somebody who may have um, broken your heart. Uh, maybe they... Maybe it was like a broken engagement. Um, this is actually the card of marriage, by the way. So if you meet somebody, it's like it could lead to marriage. And this is maybe hanging around this feeling of something that occurred in the past where you gave your heart to somebody and maybe even thought that there was a commitment there and that person did not follow through, they, you know, whatever, they cheated, whatever it was. Now, you may be having a hard time moving on from that in some way. You may have other good things happening in your life, but that kind of is still bothering you. It can also be a situation where somebody tries to worm their way back into your life. And you have um, broken it off. Maybe you broke it off and it took everything within you to get away from this person because you had a very strong connection. Um, the advice, or this can be sometimes what is coming in the near future, is represented by the devil card. Um, for advice, I would say look at what is not serving you in your life and what kind of compulsions or... Um, what's the word, like unhealthy desires that are lurking within you that could be possibly connected to somebody that you used to be involved with, that maybe you have a connection to them that's more of a lustful situation, and that's the hook that can lure you back in, the pleasures, the sins of the flesh, the pleasures of the flesh. And that can hook you into a negative spiral if you go down that route again. You may have gotten away from somebody, and yet there, there's still the potential to go back to them. Maybe they keep lurking around. And you have to resist the urge to look at the situation in this idealistic way and see the good things that were in it but rather understand what the relationship really entailed and see it for what it really was. Don't see it for how you wanted it to be. Also, in terms of um, business ventures or your career path, um, if you're in a corporate environment, don't sell your soul. Don't do it because you're, you have a lucrative income now. Um, the devil card reminds us of where we allow the material realm to take over our, our spirit, spiritual life and really kind of uh, distort our values. It's, it's like, um, it, it's kind of funny to me because I hear so many negative things about the about corporate um, jobs, where people feel somehow that they are like the devil, like they're selling their soul. And sometimes it's because they feel like they're phony, that there are so many rules about how they have to behave, 
and they don't they resent them but they feel you know like they have to do it in order to fit in uh, an example would be wearing certain clothes or wearing your hair in a certain style and not wearing it in a different style because it goes against their values and the people feel like inauthentic and it kind of bothers them at some level but they keep getting that sense of um, enticement because it really pays well so it's something that you might have to grapple with the outcome card is such a great card this ten of cups can speak of marriage of just family joy harmony within the home uh, with you know but it's like um, within the family like a sense of well-being but even with yourself it, it can be something connected to career matters or just actually more in alignment with financial abundance or material abundance so it's interesting that we have the devil card and this card which is such a wonderful card so what's going on well I would say that if there's somebody who you feel tempted to go back to or to just have um, one night stands with or whatever you would call booty calls or something like that consider what the outcome is that you're looking for you may be looking for a committed relationship which is definitely what the ten of cups represents uh, de and definitely for a Libra person they are looking for their perfect mate and the devil card lures because you might have somebody and maybe that person makes a lot of money and they're showering you with bright shiny objects and um, it's hard to resist because you like bright shiny objects well it's like what am that's the easiest way to decide what to do is say what is my end game what is it that I'm looking for I'm looking for I'm looking to get married or I'm looking for a committed relationship can the this person provide that no but the person can provide me material uh, trinkets is that worth is that ultimately what I'm looking for no it's not so it makes it very clear um, same with career matters what am I looking for I'm looking to feel joy in my life and if I'm in a place that pays me a lot of money but I just dread getting up every day how can I put a price on that you can't some people are motivated enough by money that they will endure a lot of negative work place stuff in order to get that paycheck there are some people and you know what if that is something that is so paramount to your existence then who am I to argue with you but a lot of people myself included could not be motivated by that in the long haul maybe you know after the first couple of times it would get old maybe it would be cool the first couple of times but you realize how much you're sacrificing and that's what bothers you so this reading ends on a very good note because there's it actually has so many good cards um, the the chariot is a, is a card of success the four of pentacles is a card of financial stability security or a relationship that is not full of drama that is actually very solid solid like you know a good uh, quality oak cabinet or something and the ten of cups the card of celebration commitment family happiness and personal happiness and and financial security so the only kind of card that is um, negative is the is the double card and possibly the seven of cups uh, of wands because there's a sense of defensiveness 
but that's in the past position, so that's not currently what's going on. The Devil card is looming. It's this influence that, you know, and we all have that devil that kind of pops up sometimes out of the blue, and we're like, wow, I'm being um, enticed to do something that I don't really want to do. And don't do it. The Two of Cups in the challenge position. Forgive people who have sinned against you. You know, isn't that in uh, the Lord's Prayer? Who have trespassed against you. And just forgive them because it doesn't mean that you accept that that, that was okay for them to do it, but you want to move on to your happy future. So you have to release the past in order to do that. So Libra, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a great month. Take care. Bye.